G'day fellas, how are we doing? Lachlan here from Cowboy for Gamer today. I'm joined here by Bragg. Hello. For this week's instalment of the Comments Podcast. There's just not a lot of news going on right now. Yeah. There's a little bit. Yeah, it's... which we can get around to next week. The tournament document change we just found out not moments ago, but yeah. close enough. Uh, just a couple of moments ago, like, how long's a moment? It's a good question. So, I've always taken a moment to mean, like, mm. 10 seconds. I feel like... No, maybe, maybe it's actually maybe that's a bit too long. That's a moment. I feel like a moment is an experience. Well, I mean, well that's definitely... Moment can also mean that too. But also, moment can be used as a... Yeah, if I had to put like a time frame on moment, I would probably give it like 3 to 4 seconds. You could have a long moment at like 5 to 6, but I think a moment's generally like 3 to 4 seconds. So a good moment <laughs> is longer. Interesting to know. Yeah, about 15. Um, alrighty, so getting into this week's uh, comments, which uh, you can leave us at our Discord. Link is in the description. I finally uh, set up the descriptions so that the descriptions will by default have the link to it in it. How can, cool is that? You can do that? Yep. Oh, look at that. Mr. Hackerman. How many moments did it take us to figure that out? <laughs> there was no. Oh my god! There's just so much we could have done this whole time. I had a like I had a text document on the desktop. <laughs> they used to copy and paste. <laughs> oh, that's incredible! Um, it took not just one but three Google searches, and then I finally just clicked on the first link, and it was like, "Here's how you do it: just go to settings, and then it's immediately right there." And I was like. <laughs> oh, okay. Mm. So yeah, we got that going. Um, <laughs> but yeah, join us on the Discord. Links in the description, or you can send us an email at team c for g at gmail dot com. The four is a number. Mm. Maybe we'll make a better one eventually. We'll get Say a, howdy. We'll get a, a we'll get a, a domain instead. That is coming as well. Team at. C- C for G. So we'll just be email at I'll Cowboy at Yeah, look, we'll, we'll set up a cool website eventually. But at the moment, laying low, grinding out. Yeah, we're just strong. grinding out. We're trying to hit daily uploads again, but I'm not. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. It's an evolving thing. Mm. We're both very busy men. Yeah. Tired. Anyway, now. to Yu Gi Oh! and your answers. <laughs> um, well, your questions, I guess. Uh, Bay Savage says, "You think in the future we could get some podcasts with video for YouTube?" So that, that kind of leans into what we're saying there. Um, yes, I. It's very much a goal. It would be. It's a hundred percent. It's yes. We will eventually have video podcasts on YouTube. The thing is, if you've never run a podcast, and I'm not saying you know we're the greatest podcasters on earth. There is a bit more than just chucking the camera in. Like, if we want it to be good, we need a good place to sit as well. Like, generic table setup doesn't work as well. And if it does, we need a bigger table. A multi-mic setup is what's coming next. Yeah, we also need multi-mic setup. um, Like, for sure, for that. And then we need multiple video angles. It'll push back the time to podcast release even further than it's already like well not even further sorry <laughs> it'd push it back like three days minimum yeah yeah oh unless Bragg's in a mood in which case it could be four four <laughs> yeah. hours or, or it could be two weeks yeah. <laughs> or that podcast doesn't come out <laughs> well yeah or I upload it and not say anything or I hope the audio version of the last one went up. I think it did. The only way I ever learned that the audio version didn't go up is if Ben messages me and he goes, Hey, I'm jumping to work. Where's the audio? <laughs> uh, but yes, 100%, somewhere down the line, we will put that in. Oh, we totally did because it's been like, it's been the top of my podcast feed mm. with all the uh, basketball and political podcasts. It's just yeah. bouncing above it. Yeah, we're on battery. We're on battery. 
battery. Yeah, it turns out I have batteries for the like assault for, for the mic <laughs> in the house this time. Hey, I'm but just gonna keep watching that red light with some major concern. No, it it took us it took forever last time. We we have definitely had a battery die on the mic on one pub before. And that's what Malt That's Malt- why you couldn't hear Jake, because it was on the right side, the battery died. Now this was the it was the price prediction one, which we are getting ever so close to that that deadline. Oh Jesus. We're getting close to banless season too. We'll probably have a banless stub in the next two weeks. Yeah. Oh, banless prediction, I mean. If people already... If you start having predictions, start getting them ready, start preparing them, start... Chuck them in the through. Discord. I'm um, hun- I want to see them. We probably have to flash out the rules now we've realised this far in advance. Usually it springs up on me. I'm like, oh, shit, I guess we're doing this. Yeah. I wonder if I can go... For a year, oh, yeah. a year and a bit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Dr. Hypersonic writes... I should be sentenced for my hate crime. This is in reference to him writing Aussie with a Y. Oh. Yeah. Um, yes, you will be. As <laughs> long as you don't say it that way. Um, he just says he doesn't write Aussie very often. Fair enough. But not really. He also writes, <laughs> My locals on our Sunday tournaments has a few kids playing around eight, but majority of them are older than 12. I think... About two to three are younger. That's that's good. That's that's a good number of like young local players. Yeah. Those those kids, if they can wrap their head around what the better older players wrap their head around, they go on to be incredible. Mm. Like it happened with the last YCS winner in Australia. Uh you know, given that man might have some problems, but um <laughs> You know, uh, he did win. <laughs> um, it was a good deck as well. It was a really yeah. good deck. I miss it. If only they had taken the scrap variant out and then just put in anything good. No, I'm joking. Scrap was good. Scrap was good. Scrap, scrap was good with 47 cards. Not with 40. Not with 40. No. I never thought to go to 47. It was either 60 or 40. Yeah. Such a fool. Such a fool. Yeah. Who would have thought 47? While you were at home with the 40 cards, I was studying the 47. <laughs> well, really I, was just, I was just adding cards to my deck and went, oh, I'm 47 now. Yeah. We have like one kid under 18. And we have it's pretty good too. three kids over 18. Oh. <laughs> and that's and a lot of them are, have just stayed around. Like they, a few of them did start off younger. Yeah, well, I just turned 18 when I started. Mm. 23, clock it. Yeah, we had a pod since your birthday? No. Happy just birthday, clock one over here. Yeah. Yeah, cheers. I got an awesome Dynamis thingy. Yeah, um, did you post it in the Discord at all? I posted it everywhere but our Discord. <laughs> Maybe post it. I'll post it in. I'll post it in. Uh, on Zodiac, if you search for Lachlan, he, I'm sure he'll turn up. Actually, yeah. no, you posted. You post a bunch of shit in that bloody group. I posted like twice. Yeah. Well, one of those times I called you, a cunt. James C writes, "Where are you guys based out of?" We replied, "Mum's basement." <laughs> yes, Wollongong, the mum's basement of Australia. No. Yeah, maybe, no, it's not but class, a classy mum's basement. No, it's definitely not basement. It's, it's like, like it's like you know those like two story houses that they've got a basement as well, but then they've got that like under room. It's yeah. like oh, this is kind of chill, nice to hang out, but you wouldn't really call it a basement because it's got living room properties, it's got windows. Yeah, it's just the bottom one that's not really no one cares about it. Yeah, where that room. Yeah, in a holiday house. <laughs> Uh, he responded, you're not here, I can't see you. Well, I mean... <laughs> My oh, time is yeah. now. <laughs> Sorry, if the video podcast, if we were doing it, would have picked up the, uh, the John Cena reference from, uh, Lachlan over here. No, that was you that did that. Why would you blame that on me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, those are all comments on the last podcast, by the way. <laughs> I usually declare what video it is first, um... On to 
Seb's Sealed Only, Episode 1. Very good. Very good. Yeah. Um, there's some way more interesting content coming out of that. That was sort of the setup. Seb's got a plan. He's he's sticking to it. He looks like... I've seen it. It looks good. I'm, I'm excited for this. Um, so watch that with... with uh, Great closeness. I'll watch your next video with great interest. Interest. <laughs> um, Edwin wrote, So, does Seb just play this at Locals for fun, or is there someone specific he plays against? What's the budget? No one said anything about fun. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I don't recall saying good luck. <laughs> um, Seb actually wrote back on his own account, Seabass. He wrote, Hey, Edwin. I play this at our locals tournament twice a week, so I versus very different people. The budget is sixty dollars every second week. I think that's a good budget for a sealed only series. It's enough where you can get to get somewhere, mm. but you know you've also like it's not Team Sam. Really, I spent four thousand dollars and I made a okay meta deck. It's, no, the, I think the the. What's good about Sealed Out is you can apply it almost in the way that if you've ever watched a, uh, like a packed only, uh, like free to play Duel Links. Oh, yeah. Packed only, like FIFA. Yeah. Um, I think that's where it comes in and it has an edge over that because it's uh, IRL and I think IRL content right now is king on YouTube. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, Edwin responded, Oh, cool. I enjoy stuff like this a lot. So keep uploading. I'd like it if you could keep track of your results at Locals with this deck. What cards are you chasing next? Schism or generic staples? Separate back. Yeah, man. I'll do tournament recaps on the OTS videos. Yeah, just chasing Schism, Dogmatica, and staples. Good luck, Seb. That's why I was looking for the Return of the Jewels packs at ABA Games. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was weird. I didn't. It's just it. It just didn't click with me. Hmm. So if anyone uh, in Australia has a hookup for Return of the Jewels seal packs, that they come across in a store. I guess forward it on. Yeah. I'm sure. It come. I'm sure he's found some by now. Said. Yeah. He yeah, 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 did. He did. Yeah. Disregard. I do not care if Return of the Duelist. I've seen the pools too. Return of the Duelist? That's not the pack. Is Rise it? of the Duelist. Yeah. Return of the Duelist. That's a... Fellas, I'll give you a quick hint. I've seen the pools. He's That's nodding. All. He's nodding. On uh, my new Diamond's deck profile. Well, it's not so new anymore, but... Uh, Andrew Mum... <laughs> If Sky Strikers were ever meta, sorry. If Sky Stri if Sky, if Sky Stickers ever become <laughs> meta, <laughs> yeah, I this. Not sure if they already have been Spell Canceller. Uwu. He didn't write Uwu, but that emoticon looks like Uwu to me. Like, would you? How would you say that out loud? Yeah, Uwu, Uwu uh, frames that perfectly. As a dynamist deck, I think this is a very good deck. Uh, I think this is a very good deck list. I don't personally think I could improve it. However, you could improve it by cutting Mike's down to one to make it a 40 card deck. He will never give that shit up. No, you don't play Mike's at one. Especially not in a deck that runs Dragoon, because you want over 40, so your chances of seeing them comes down. I should have known you'll put this in, you go back to the Symphonic Engine eventually. It's just so good. Is a... Yeah. yeah. Scale 7. You say so. You say so. On Alpha, the Master of Beasts, my box opening. Uh, for Phantom Rage. God, we're having a moment. It is 3 a.m., so it's quite tiring. It is. Uh, Edwin wrote 20, vin 20 minute video. Damn. Yep. Uh, pulling them out long. <laughs> I know why I said that. That's not cool. Uh, I told him to guess. Oh, I told everyone to watch it. Well, I told everyone who watched it to pause the video at one point and guess what I was going to get. 
Uh, he guessed three out of six. So that's pretty good. I rate that. That is pretty good. That's actually a pretty good idea. But you also didn't... It's three out of five because you didn't... Well, no. It is three out of six, but you didn't guess the second secret. <laughs> Oh. So, I don't know why. Uh, and then Chum Salmon writes, by virtual world Lulu, but in very unreadable writing. Oh, wait, that was, oh, that was in the, like, that was like the sarcastic writing, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. That's like a Team Sam reference, isn't it? Oh, lovely. Not Team Sam, the other one. Moving on to the Discord! to sort of round us off we got a few questions here um I love the discord questions they're so good um it's a tall order oh sorry this is Wampa it's a tall order but have you guys thought of doing a year end video of all the funny or cool things you guys have done on the channel and pod no <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, no, 100%. Yeah. Oh, I thought you were being serious to say like, Yeah, uh, generally there is a highlights pod, which we'll get around to. Bragg works on it all year. This year, I might have only been doing the outtakes. Because the... We haven't... We didn't really have much response to last year's best of. Um, but I do like having the... Look, it doesn't take too much to whip up. I'll do it. Yeah, we'll get it done. Uh, as well as like we like to do our um, top fives of the of the our, our we do a recap of products of the next year and what we're looking for to next year. Top this stuff. year we're gonna do top five Konami fuck ups of the year. Did they fuck up this year as badly as they could have though? Number one, moving production to Belgium. <laughs> yeah, maybe <laughs> products and stuff. Actually, we're gonna start thinking about that. We're nearly we're nearly done with all the products of the year, right? Isn't there supposed to be like four things still releasing? Because the they push so much shit back. Did you get the Speed Jewels? Oh, bro, I'm so ex Is that the cube? Yeah. Yes. People are saying this is going to be the last thing ever. For Speed Jewels. Look. But if it does well, they just keep making these, right? Yeah. Otherwise, it's a dead format, for, for real. We well, love Speed Duels. So, literally, some of our most watched content is Speed Duels content. I might have to actually think about doing content for this speed jewel stuff I'm pretty keen but everyone we know down here is keen for it so it's just if they can keep backing that up we yeah. are gonna do some them speed backing it up is what I wanna see god knows I've been keen for speed jewels for two fucking years and no one was keen for it I've I've tried to verse you in speed jewels multiple times you versed me once and it was really good but <laughs> that speed duel's mat I want it so bad you know with the three zones yeah. Oh, I want that mat. We deserve that mat. We were at the forefront of that Speed Duel stuff when it was coming out. Like, we were, like, legitimately at that time, we were, like, the people putting it up first, and we had the best videos for it. Yeah. I thought about it and so we got, much. And we got rewarded for it, too. Yeah, but then uh, they're just, on the next, like, on the next set. Yeah. We just didn't have uh, the returns in the... It just should have been a sealed only... Like, yeah. uh, it should have been, sorry, structure only yeah. Yeah. things. Yeah, structures only or cubes. That deck, the, the game was not big enough to maintain, like, buying actual cards. Yeah, 100%. And then, and then they could just make enough, like, but there's still, there's still a market for um, the OTS stuff. Yeah. I think I got damn near, like, 700 views on mine where I opened one structure deck not three copies of one I just opened one and made a semi-competent list out of it yeah. and I was like here you go just buy one Harpies uh, slash Amazonas structure deck you've got yourself a pretty decent speed duels deck yeah that was my favourite speed duels shit and it did well um Zinthonian writes with the quality of maximum gold being dot 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 not that great <laughs> Is there any card you would want a misprint of? And what kind? Wrong picture slash name? Foiling? Missing something? Hmm. Hmm. Oh. 
I would like a misprint L-O-B first ed E-N Luar's White Dragon that was in mint condition PSA 10 and had printed every like other name of Yu-Gi-Oh cards on it <laughs> um cause that would sell for at least $25 and that's a that's a is this like so this is like across any misprinting that we would ever want yeah I want misprint Ulti Cowboy yeah I want it to say uh minus 8,000 instead what I would that's what I want I want it to say minus 8,000 <laughs> What I would kind of be keen for, is, but I can, it would be p- possible in this uh, in this set, is a one of the gold rares having the gold border around it. Yeah, that would be sick. Like that would be, I reckon that like that would look well, cool. One of those a discard foil that had the gold, yeah, around it. Fuck me. How much would that sell for? Yeah, I think we're talking like. 5k. So yeah, that's definitely... US. That would be up there. I would be keen as a bean. Do you know Seb pulled one of those discard cards once? Oh, no. Don't say it. What do you do with it? I think he's still got it. Oh, cool. It's not the foil one. And it doesn't say discard on it, but I think it's sick. I think that's... Like, I've always wanted to pull one of those. Yeah. I've never pulled a misprint. I, um... I pulled a really... I'm not sure if it's a misprint or it's a wrong card. Like, I've definitely pulled like a dodgy card, but it was from an official pack. Yeah. It was like my. I'm not sure if you see my Y Dragon head, where it's it's the the stickers in the wrong, completely wrong spot. The authenticity sticker. The Eye of Anubis. Hmm? The yeah. Eye of Anubis. Anubis, sure. Um, but the I'm coloring is the com- the coloring is completely wrong. It. It, let me see, and a glance, it looks fake, but it was a hundred percent from a real pack. Because by then, I knew like I knew what legit and what like what wasn't legit. Be careful, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh misprints. It's already laughing at you and posting the Spy Kids meme where a hundred glasses go in front of their face. <laughs> He's eating beans. <laughs> Yo, is my man's eating beans? Uh, that was very funny in person. Um, Paul Pelican writes, What's your favourite looking card? I think Math Mech Equation looks so nice in Secret Rare. On the basis of never having seen that card in my entire life, I'm going to have to look it up. I disagree on principle. While you look it up, the Secret Rare Millennium is strict appeals to me in ways you could never imagine um what else is good you reckon <laughs> no that's that's yeah for him yeah right that, if that was in the gold rare that would look awesome yeah that would look heaps sick math make equation would look heaps sick in gold rare um a sentence I don't think gets uttered very often I think ulti allure looks pretty nice um, as for just plain artwork, people running about. Oh, I have a suspect. Yeah, yeah, we love that. <laughs> um, the Dynamis Howling. You reckon it's pretty good? Mm. That had, that card had so much to the law. <laughs> <laughs> uh, fire Prison. Oh yeah, bloody Fire Prison. Nichiria Beetle. Nichiria Pineapple looks really cool. It's the new um, Fishbook Launcher or whatever uh, or whatever it is. Treeborn Frog, whatever it's called. I don't know. Treeborn Frog looks really good. In Ulti it does. In anything else, no. No, I had a good version of it when I was a kid. Was it in Ulti? No, it was probably Common. Well, then I do not agree. No, it looks fine in Common. Looks fine in Old Common. Um... What else is good artwork? Uh, the original Red Eyes, I really like. Curse of Dragon, I've always thought looks sick. Oh, Red Eyes. Yeah, Red yeah. Eyes is the nicest. Yeah. Oh, uh, Summon Skull too. I love Summon Skull. 
tier um, as well. The you know the prize card tier. Yeah, that looks sick. The oh oh no, we, we've definitely talked about um a whole one. Leonardo the skyship or whatever. We've talked about this before, and do you remember what I said last time? No. Prophecy Destroyer. Yep. Oh, we talked about this recently. I've probably not given any of the same answers besides Howling. <laughs> Prophecy Destroyer is legit. That tin is sick. Dr. Hypersonic actually answered this. Yeah, I wouldn't. Which I love. He said, Odd Eyes Revolution looks amazing. Yeah, yeah. You're, yeah, yeah. you're entirely onto it. That's why I picked one up, just just because. Did I ever pick it? Did I ever actually physically grab it, though? I don't know. I've got one. That's right. Um, Ragai writes, My roommate recently got into Yu-Gi-Oh! He now has an Ojama Melfi deck. <laughs> How, what, when will he go pro? He's already pro. What are you talking about? The John Melfi best deck. We um the one of the best things I've heard this week was uh, someone <laughs> used Melfi to go into Zeus. Attacked and... with Melfi Ravi. Yep. No, sorry, Joyous Melfi. Yep. And was uh, hold on was the outcome of the attack was was the outcome of Zeus was it banished three golden laws. No, previously in the game he had banished three Golden Lords. Okay. This is why you run two Golden Lords. You can never have three banished. <laughs> uh, the open bounty is still out on Jake, by the way. But he's he's too smart now since he's seen that. What is it? Okay. He, he didn't rate Zeus. I, like, whoever Zeus Jake first, I was going to give $5. Yeah, I still think, yeah. Dr. Hypersonic wrote, give him three years. <laughs> <laughs> three years uh to, yeah look Ojamas are actually like quite a big brain deck you actually need to think a lot so honestly if he's actually playing it I could see him like learning ins and outs of games especially when you're getting to Ojama Melfi you're summoning like four out of four extra deck types yeah so once you get there if he can get his head around pendulum summoning if it's ever relevant again he's already he knows every basic of the game yeah. All he has to do from there is build. You start off with decks that aren't good because it forces your brain to learn to deck build. Yeah. Then you move on to meta. I, I played non meta for four years and I'm still not sure I didn't play it for long enough. Like, like it's the grind. You get good through playing bad. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it forces a level of deck building that I don't think like some people for sure they can definitely just start playing they start with meta and they just get good but I think it's like surface level good when you play yeah like a, a rogue deck and you're forced to get results with the best you can get I also I think that builds a skill base from the from the bottom it's a complete skill base there's nothing missing also like you're playing against if you're going bad at locals, you're going to be then playing against a, a more a wider variety of decks. You're going to be seeing more cards. You're going to gain more experiences with different interactions. Exactly. That you just become a, a well-rounded player, and then whenever you make the jump, it's actually a really good point. Yeah, I think that's the best way to do it. That's I've literally recommended Dynamist and Yosenju as like starter decks for people for so long. It gives you a good understanding of the game. It teaches you when to push, when to stall. I reckon, um, I reckon any like I reckon structures from a few years ago. So right now, if you to pick up salad and go with salad, like in a, in a few in a little while, be like if you pick up rockets, if you pick up pendulum, just pe like any any of the structures. Definitely structure don't play Endymion. It's not no starting player should play Endymion. Yeah. I don't understand Endymion. Then I reckon no, it's I'm, too much. There's too many trees in that deck. I think you want to start out with something you can look at your hand. And be like, there's a good way to play this and a bad way to play this. Not, there's a hundred shades of grey between. Yeah. Like, the whole, I'm going to play this well, but not, you know, I'm still going to lose, but I'm going to play it well, and I'm going to learn what made me lose. And yeah. then I'm going to go home, change my deck, put in better cards, learn. I love it. Yeah, you could probably... Uh, 
Yeah, you could probably play Salad. I reckon. I think you probably want to start off with something where you'll win less than with Salad, but... Oh, you can still lose with Salad. You can always 100%. find a way to lose, lose with Salad. But you also don't make friends with Salad. <laughs> uh, I read this. I like that show. The Simpsons? <laughs> what? You like The Simpsons? <laughs> Wild, I know. Damn, bro. You out of this world. Oh, that was pretty good. That's totally a 96% Sancho across the road. Damn. Well, anyway, that comes to the end of our comments. Um, thanks. They were great comments. They were. Um, leave. Here's my question to you, which you can come go to the general portion, uh, the general chat in the Discord. Tell me what you think is the best starter. Uh, the best starter deck for a new player. Yeah. Um, I'm going to back it. I still think it's Dynamist. Like, I legitimately do believe that. It's easily Frog Monarch. <laughs> Even Monarchs, actually. Monarchs would be pretty good. There's enough going on there where you have to think a little bit. But not too much. But yeah. Um, join the Discord. Sub. Like. Say howdy. And only howdy. Don't say anything else. Be safe.